Hi my YouTube family, this is Melody from Home Garden and Fashion. Welcome to Home Garden and Fashion. Today I'm going to talk about this beautiful pen stand. You can use this as a pen stand or you can use as a stand for your makeup brushes or even you can put it in the bathroom for your toothbrushes. So this is a beautiful creation. This is um, a pen stand and you, it has many other uh, use too. You can use as a pen stand or your makeup brush stand or in the bathroom for toothbrush stand. So let me show you how I made this one. This is made with this. This is the salt container. So I cut the inside and took out the inside portion and then I am left with this outside. So this is a recycle item and I'm reusing it to create something really beautiful. Now to make this one you need one of the empty salt container and then you cut the inside and take out the inside portion and you don't need that. You just need this outside. Now you need a felt. So felt you have to fold it like this and this is the bottom portion so you take the felt and you fold it like this and then you will be stitching it and then you check it with this one to make sure it fits right and then like this you have to stitch it and then you have to put the rest of it inside like this and then you can hot glue this or you can stitch it either way but before you put the felt in this container and stitch it you should decorate the felt because once you hot glue or stitch the felt to this container it will be very hard to decorate because i tried with this one the, my first one and uh, which the beads keep falling off the sequins keep falling off so for my second one which i'll show you this one i did the decoration and let it dry now the beads are sequins they are all stuck to this felt and they will not fall off so this has uh, these beautiful beads these beads came out from a party necklace this, this kind of party necklace and what you do to this necklace to get the beads is this you get this party necklace and you cut it and then, then you get the beads and use these beads so I will be using these beads like this you cut it and get all the beads that you need So this party necklaces you can get it from any party store and use these beads and they really look more if they do. Okay, so, so this has on the top sequence and then it has this party um, necklace beads and then it has mirror. This is one inch mirror and you also you use this uh, glitter glue to glue the mirror so the supplies you'll be needing is this uh, sequence these are medium sized sequence not very big and then you need the beads from the party necklace and then you need one inch mirror and then you need to put some little sequence or you can use the same big ones and then follow the same pattern at the bottom So first, just like this one is stitched, we were going to stitch this one at the bottom. So you just put simple running stitch or you can do a hem, either one like this. Like this, 
burning stitch or a hem and preferably with the same color thread so the thread won't be showing on the other side and the side you will do the decoration and then after we're done with the stitch then I'll show you the decoration like this so you go on with the entire row like this now after you're done stitching then you'll decorate and then after you decorate you have to leave it alone two hours to dry and after it dried then you can stitch so let me show you the decoration part I'm done stitching there so that's how you stitch the belt at the bottom and this bottom portion is the one going to be here that's what you stitch and the top portion will go inside okay so now we're going to do is decorating so I'm gonna show you in this little one because this is the one I'm going to use next to create something so I'm going to show you how I did it in this little one. As with my all my other videos, you have seen how I did the decoration. What you do is you follow along the sides. this gets dry as quickly so you have to work with it quickly so like this you put dots few of them first and then follow along the line this uh, little uh, felt I'm decorating just to show you how I did on the big one this little one I'll be using next to make a pin cushion so I might as well just show you in this one so I can use this one so uh, you put all your dots like this and now you're going to be using the sequins. This one always cap up because they get dried really quickly. And you can use any kind of sequins, big or little, depending on what you have in your hand at the moment. So I'm using these little bit big ones, these are not so little. These are like medium size, so I, you know with my all other videos I show you that this is my tool. This is just an empty paint container I use to and you can choose to put it upside down or downside up. So I'm putting this upside down like this. Now you continue throughout the entire side. And then I'll put the beads, so you have to put the beads. So this decoration after you do it, you have to leave it just the way it is to dry for two hours. After it's dry, these beads or sequins will not fall out. So you have to make sure that you put enough glitter glue. So they are really stuck to the fabric. Now I have decorated few jeans on my last two videos. I don't know if you got a chance to see it or not. Uh, and go watch them. They are this similar, very similar decoration, and those are decorating jeans. Now this. little bit more left so I want to show you the entire section some of these are big some of these are little I'm trying to pick the big ones because since I'm doing with the big ones it's 
better if I just put all big ones. But when I bought it, it came in a package and it was mixed with big and little. So I'm trying to make a pin cushion, which I will do next. Then I can use this one at the bottom. The pin cushion also I will do with recycled material. Reuse them, invent a new purpose. So like this, and we're done. And the entire bottom. Now this is just a mm, little piece of felt I did because I'm gonna be using this to do a pin cushion just to show you how I attach the sequence. So make sure you put enough fabric, glitter, glue, paint and then you pull, use a tool to push it down, push down all your sequences so they stay stuck to the fabric and let it dry for two hours so they do not fall off. Okay, so now we're done with that. Now we're gonna use the beads. I'll show you how. And the last one will be the this big mirror, which I will show you this. Then the pen, pen holder, so that you can see how I'm gonna stitch that bun out. Now these beads. Uh, once you put the beads. You should not hold it up because these beads need drying time. So I did not put them too close. I made a pattern of like one and skip one. So I'm putting one. Beads for beads you have to give sufficient amount or they will fall off. So this is skipping one in the middle. Like this. So you create your own pattern. But this um, is very easy to make and doesn't cost you anything. It's from recycled material or whatever you have in home. Now, now we see these beads, uh, you cut it from the necklace, it will have little bit of thread. But it's okay, it looks good. You push it in. You won't be able to push it in with the tool, you have to push it in with your hand, like this. Now, make sure they stay flat, and this way they dry for two hours, and then you can put it on whatever you're making. But first you have to decorate your fabric or felt. I have done this one in the felt, but you can do it in siphon fabric or silk fabric. It will really look beautiful. It will really look gorgeous on net fabric too. So now, we're done with this. Now I have to lay it down flat like this for two hours to dry. So we're done with this one. Now I'm going to show you on that how I created that. So I will lay it down to dry. Now, let me stitch it, show you how I stitch that. So what you do is you put it like this. This is the one I already did it. And then you match it here and here. And now over here, you push it down with your hand. Now remember all these decorations outside you will do ahead of time before you do this one. This is the final step. You don't want to do any decoration after this because anything you do after this, they will fall off. So after you're done drying your fabric, after the decoration is done, wait two hours, everything all dried, then you do this step. This is the last step. For decorating the top, once you put this fabric to measure, then you make your dots here. 
and then after that you lay down this felt and then you put the sequence after the sequence dries two hours later you adjust everything make sure everything is okay now is the time to stitch so you bring it closer and then I'm gonna stitch it like this just give simple stitches but make sure it's tight because we want this felt to stay in this container so you go in like this and give now you go from in here be a little tricky but you can do it like this make sure you do not pull on any of these beads or they will come out okay so you see I'm just attaching these two sides together like this going from inside and coming coming out like this just attaching these two together and pull because you want to make it tight you don't want this felt to come out like this so we go on like this now while you're doing this you have to be very careful because you have your beads and you don't want this needle to be stuck in the beads and pull out the beads just carefully stitch this uh, other way to do it is you glue it before you attach these beads but that didn't work for me because when I try to attach the beads they keep falling off so it's better I attach before like this now we're gonna go in here and we have a bead here so we go like this we're not gonna bother the bead we'll just go like this now we'll do here now from inside you can choose to either do this or you can choose to glue it just up to you Now inside you put it like this and you need a sturdy needle and sturdy thread because see you are kind of uh, stitching on this cardboard which is the, the salt container so your needle and thread has to be sturdy like this so this way we want to make sure that our felt never comes out but you can do this same thing with um, uh, hot glue but I just prefer to stitch I don't like that hot glue that much it just burns so I just stitch everything unless you know I have no choice and have to use the hot glue then I use it but I don't like it so I prefer stitching so here you see it got stuck to the bead and we need to be careful about that Yes, this beads okay so it's just as long as you get all around the side the stitching like this that's all it matters that it's holding on to the container and the felt and these beads and the sequence they do not fall off unless you really literally pull it out but this really looks beautiful especially uh, if you have a beautiful table with the mirror and you put it it really looks lovely you can keep um, all your makeup brushes you can keep your comb or you can keep your pen and you can keep it in the bathroom for you know, your toothbrush or hair brush or comb anything you can find many use for this because it looks nice and you can make it and give it as a gift to someone 
and you can put other things as well okay so now we're done with this all around and we give a good stitch so they don't come now the final thing i will show you is how i put this layer now this mirror i use this little sequence that one i use the big shiny sequence this is a little sequence now these two sequences are a little different see this is has um, much um, this is bigger and much shinier this is not that much shinier and smaller so i don't know why this had two different sequences so this is the last mirror last mirror you have to attach it after you stitch it because you see I'm gonna attach it right here so I cannot attach it before then I won't be able to stitch it so this is gonna be a little bit difficult because um, anything you stitch anything you attach after stitching it falls off so you're gonna have to make sure it's holding so you put a lot of this glitter glue paint you can do this on hard glue but I want to use this one because this one holds better i have done a lot of saris with this and this holds better this glue is so you press it down as much as possible like this okay now after you do this then make sure it's in the center then you're gonna do this so the sides gets enough this glitter glue let's be stuck with the now this one is kind of like up wavy because it's not on the flat surface you know it's up now put sufficient amount this stays stuck now after you do that then you put use your tool and you use your sequence now you put your sequence like this put all your sequence like this and then once you're done you're just gonna have to stand up and let it dry standing up but this last step is the one tricky because it doesn't get stuck unless it is flat on the ground but we'll see I think I have two in this one I'll just leave it alone okay so this is this is what it came out now the others are done beautifully because they are dry and this one we are just gonna have to be uh, giving it two hours to dry so there you have it a beautiful pen stand or you can put your makeup brushes or you can keep it in the bathroom for putting your comb or anything it looks so beautiful and you can make it as a gift for any of your friends or mom or you can put it in your dad's office and put a pen inside it's so beautiful so thank you so much for joining me this is melody from home garden and fashion thank you see you with my next video and don't forget to like and subscribe please subscribe so you'll be getting all my coming videos in your inbox Okay, as soon as the videos come out, it will be in the inbox. Thank you so much. Okay, bye-bye. Have a good day.